So here's how I made it in high ticket closing. If you're watching this video, you probably recognize the explosion that's about to happen in this industry. Good job. Uh, this video is basically me walking you through how I went from a broke, busted, and disgusted university students to closing millions of dollars in deals over the phone, managing hundreds of sales reps, and helping them do the same thing. All right, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, and let's dive straight into it. Okay, so kind of going uh, going back, back in time, I uh, grew up in an immigrant family. My mom came to Canada from Russia as a single mom, didn't speak the language, raised me and my older sister on social security for probably the first 10 years of our lives. You know, not the best upbringing, but super grateful for my upbringing and, and how it came up. You know, really early on in my life, I saw my mom just get any job that she could. She worked at a cubicle nine to five and I would sometimes go to her work on days when I was sick or whatever. I would just be hanging out with her. And like, I just have this memory of at a really young age, I did not want to work that nine to five. I was literally terrified by the thought of showing up at work every day and doing the exact same thing every single day of my life. Um, so I always had this been in the back of my mind. It was always, uh, you know, motivated. I played sports. I did all of that in school. In, uh, in high school, you know, I would, I would work jobs here and there. I would, uh, you know, pick up minimum wage stuff. This is where I met Dylan, my mentor, and actually now my business partner. Dylan, at a really young age, at like 17, 18, was building businesses, doing really big things online. And at the time, he was actually also running a door-to-door -door window cleaning business. And you know, keep in mind, like I was, I was probably, I was more of a shy kid growing up, more introverted. Um, never thought I'd be getting into sales. But I see this guy, Dylan, who's winning, you know, he's telling me that I can make a couple hundred bucks when I go out and knock on some doors. Like that's the best money that someone can make and they're in their teens. So I did it. And, you know, we picked up steam. We actually built out our team and I took on a little bit of a leadership role on that team. And we did that for a little while before I graduated. That was kind of my first taste at sales, you know, but definitely a great learning experience. But anyways, my high school semester wrapped up. I was going off to university because as most people do, you know, friends, family, society, everybody tells you, hey, that's your only option. And I had nothing else going on for me at the time. So, you know, but at the same time, like I was always like lazy. Like, I was always that kid who was like smart, had potential, but I just wouldn't really uh, put in time and effort into school because I hated it. I didn't enjoy it. I would sleep in, I would skip classes, you know, I would party, I would do all this nonsense just because I didn't never really found anything that motivated me, that excited me. I'm in school. I actually used to spend a lot more time like building. I tried to do e-commerce. I tried reselling shoes. I tried trading. All of it failed. I just burned my money. Um, you know, I was in school for a couple months and like, they tell you that university is going to be some great, amazing time, some amazing experience, but honestly it sucked. And you know, when I was there, I was kind of looking at my future and you know, the only path that I saw for myself was going down that nine to five rabbit hole. And you know, it was honestly like, I was pretty freaking hopeless. Like this was some pretty dark times, just like thinking about my future and what I wanted to do. And you know, seeing all the people around me, like completely living nonchalantly and not even caring. And that's why I tried so hard with all these businesses. But like the reality is like most people, it is very difficult to start a business, to learn 10 new skills, invest a bunch of money into it while you're doing it and actually have it take off. And um, anyways, that all failed. I was really lucky because I maintained that connection with Dylan. He gives me a call about halfway through my first semester in school while I'm going through all of this. Well, actually, no, he didn't give me a call. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you how I, how I kind of found out about high ticket closing back in 2019 when the term high ticket closing didn't even exist. I saw a Snapchat story. Dylan handed somebody a, this small Gucci bag filled with like 10K cash. I'm looking at that. I'm like, what? I've never seen this kind of money in my life. I'm looking at it on a Snapchat story from someone who I was really close with in high school. I messaged him. I'm like, man, whoever's closing for you right now, whatever salespeople you're working with, all shit on all of them. I came in super aggressive. Looking back on it, I probably could have done a better job, but I came in super hot. I was super motivated. I was just looking for an opportunity that would do something for me. And uh, I wanted to take, take advantage of this. So I talked to Dylan. Uh, this was 2019. So this was kind of at like the peak of like the like guru and like online entrepreneur trend of everybody, you know, running ads. And the thing was at the time, these coaches were literally making hundreds of thousands of dollars in high ticket coaching sales. So, you know, these e-commerce or real estate or mindset coaches, they would sell like five, 10, $25,000 programs. 
just by running an ad and showing their leads an hour long video. And they would just get people checking out for these big ticket deals. So Dylan saw a huge opportunity there because these coaches, they were converting like 1% of the traffic. And, you know, if you're thinking the way that we were thinking about this, then you realize there's a lot of money being left on the table. So Dylan was closing these deals. He was bringing on reps and that's where I came in. Uh, at the time we were selling a 5k program on a 15% commission. So this was 750 us dollars per close. And Dylan was closing these deals on 30 minute calls. I saw him do it all the time, just driving, moving around. So I fell in love with the game. I was really freaking passionate about learning. How do I close as many of these deals as humanly possible? I'm barely making a thousand bucks a month working my part-time job. And I find out I can make this on 30 minute calls. I'm trying to max this out. So, you know, basically, um, I picked this up. I was doing calls just out of my dorm room in school. I really only had three hours a day. I was really serious about three hour days. I did three hour days, seven days a week, uh, where I would have a spreadsheet and I would just be calling up names and phone numbers of people who had watched the hour long webinar and who didn't purchase the 5k coaching program yet not yet until I called them. Right. Um, and I, I did very well, uh, for a 18 year old university student working part time. I made a really good amount of money. And what happened was, you know, it was a, it was a huge blessing. It was kind of just a perfect, uh, timing where in March of 2020, you know, what happened, uh, and you know, all the schools shut down and it went into online school and, you know, just zoom classes. I basically saw this as an opportunity just to cheat on all my tests, put in no work into my classes and just go all in on sales. So that's what I did. I did 12 hour days, seven day weeks, just maxing it out, pushing it as hard as I possibly could. You know, and, and by the way, just to kind of preface this, like, I just want you guys to understand like, I was not good at sales. You know, I, I really wasn't like, I was just reading off of a script. I had no idea about buyer psychology and you know, all these different steps and strategies that I use now and that I teach now, I was just playing the numbers game straight up. And in my thinking, it's like, I'm young, I'm hungry, I'm money motivated. I have nothing else going on. I might as well spend every single hour of the day on the phones if I can go ahead and push $10,000 months and more consistently. So that's what I did. Saw some really good months, uh, saw some really good money. And uh, in June, June, July of 2020, I made, honestly, I made the easy decision of dropping out. I was making good money. I was working with my best friends. I was excited. I was waking up every day, you know, ready to take on the day. And, you know, I had never really felt that before. Like I, I had just spent like years going through school and just doing the minimum and just getting by and, you know, identifying as that lazy person. But like the moment that I had an opportunity where I can just pound dials and, you know, literally a money printer is what I used to call it. You know, the more dials I do, the more money I make, you know, I just went all in. So I dropped out of school, uh, parents, friends, all of that told me not to do it. I, you know, lost a lot of relationships because I did it, but I couldn't care less. You know, that summer we were doing million dollar months as a team. At this point we had scaled our, our agency. Well, at the time we were just selling for this one e-commerce contract. We'd scaled the team to like 20, 30 reps. Like the coach we sold for was putting all the money back into the advertising. We had way more leads. Yeah. We brought in a, a massive team and, um, you know, at this point, uh, just because I had proved myself, because I had put in the work, you know, I, I took on more of a leadership role. Um, I started, you know, managing onboarding reps, uh, training them, helping them, you know, grow their numbers and increase their numbers uh, really early. And I'm really thankful that, you know, I'm really grateful for just the opportunity to do that at such a young age because I learned so much. But yeah, so so this summer goes by, we're crushing it. We're making this one coach an insane amount of money. And at the same time, we're making amazing money in commissions as well. Fall of 2020. Now we had made a name for ourselves. All right. Keep in mind, like the state of the industry, the state of the whole online coaching space, none of these coaches had sales teams. They were all just running ads. We were literally the first sales agency of our kind working in this space. So we got some attention from some massive names. I wish I could use their names as clickbait because this video would blow up if I could. Unfortunately, I can't. Um, but big freaking names reaching out. Some of the biggest coaches at the time were calling us up and saying, Hey, like we need a sales team. What do you guys got going on right now? So we did that. Uh, we started working with some of these bigger names and yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we kind of just started scaling hard, you know, like there was no shortage of coaches who needed closers. 
And there was no shortage of people who wanted really lucrative opportunities where they could work on their own schedule and make six figures plus with no experience. So it kind of turned into the perfect storm. You know, at this time, we, we got our office up here in Toronto. We uh, signed the lease. We pay a lot of money for this office, but, you know, it's worth it. The environment's important. You know, we've sold for all kinds of coaches. Over the next two years, from fall of 2020 to you know, where we're at now, we've sold, you know, e-commerce coaching programs, uh, real estate programs. We've sold like a development program. This is a really cool offer where the coach would teach people how to basically buy a plot of land, build a house, sell the house and rinse and repeat. We sold land flipping, relationship programs, uh, mindset programs. Uh, we sold a lot of like business masterminds. So like high ticket, like 25 to hundred thousand dollar you know, business networking events, masterminding events, things like that, you know, options trading. Like we, we basically sold everything under the sun, you know, over from that, that two year point, right. When at that fall of 2020 point where we started taking on, you know, all kinds of coaches all across the space. Like we really legitimized our business. Like we went from just a bunch of 19 year old kids who were super money hungry, just pounding sales calls to like a legit agency that delivered massive results for the coaches that we would sell for. So fast forward to summer of 2022. So that year, by the end of 2020, I had cleared $100,000 in income at 19 years old. Super life-changing year for me. You know, things really went from zero to 100. Um, like, I don't want to sit here and like talk about a sob story. Like I came from nothing because I did it. And I had, you know, great family, all that good stuff. But like... You know, I went from like a really dark point in my life, uh, being freaking completely hopeless and having no idea what I was going to do to, you know, going on to see like an amazing amount of money at such a young age. And, you know, not only that, like the money was, was one thing, but you know, I really learned, uh, a lot of valuable lessons that I hold with me even to this day. Um, three key lessons that, that I got away from that first year of just going all in on sales and, uh, you know, taking on more of that leadership role. Okay, first, it's the decision that I made, especially when I dropped out, like my thinking was if I pick one thing and I go all in on it and I do this for the next few years, like I am guaranteed to succeed. It would be impossible for me not to succeed, you know? So whether that's like for you, whether that's sales, it's marketing, it's copywriting, it's, you know, one of these skills that's, that's valuable, you know, coding, video editing, one of these things that's insanely valuable right now, a uh, second you know, the reason why like I felt comfortable going all in with just a few months of sales experience, like the reason why I cut off friends, pissed off family, you know, took this massive risk to go and, you know, build this company. The only reason why I, you know, was comfortable doing that was because I was working side by side with Dylan, someone who already had achieved the success that I wanted to achieve. You know, this guy already had achieved, you know, a certain level of financial status. He had, you know, a way that he would walk and talk, you know, wisdom about him, intelligence about him. And I knew if I attach myself to somebody like this and I work with him, again, it would be impossible for me to fail. You know, I think network is everything because I wouldn't have believed I would have had the mindset. I wouldn't have had the, you know, even the possibility of making a hundred grand at 19 wouldn't have even been reality if I didn't have someone like Dylan right in my corner you know, coaching me every step of the way. So, you know, whatever it is that you do, find somebody who has what you want and work with them, get in their proximity, you know, rub off on their mindset. Third, you know, the third lesson that I got is, you know, hard work beats talent. They're naturally good at sales or they have like the gift of gab or, or whatever you want to call it. I didn't have any of it. You know, I, again, I, you know, all my background, I was super introverted, super shy growing up. I had a couple of close friends, you know, and like even, even, uh, in sports, you know, I was never naturally good at sports. I was always the undersized big man on my basketball team, guarding people who were half a foot taller than me. And like something that I've always believed is hard work always beats talent. Even in the beginning, there were guys who were just naturally good. They just stepped in and they were closing you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars a month, making crazy money just right off the bat, barely putting in any work. It just seemed effortless to them. And for me, like I had to freaking grind 
just to keep up, you know? But in the long run, hard work will always be talent. So where we're at now, that's kind of my story and a little bit of my background. But, you know, ever since that first year of closing, you know, we went from being just a group of 19 year olds, you know, super money hungry, just trying to close to being a legit sales agency that would produce massive results for the clients that we would sell for. Uh, summer of 2022, we became the go-to agency for any online coach or e-learning offer that needed a sales, right? We were getting calls from, again, a lot of massive names, big time names who had full calendars with hot leads that needed closers. And at summer of 22, like we kind of got to a point where we had to turn a lot of these people down, which is a good problem to have, I mean, if we're being honest. But, you know, at the same time, like this whole trend of like high ticket closing was really taking off. You know, a lot of people were becoming aware with like what was possible and kind of what you could do being a high ticket closer selling for an offer like this. And so we noticed all these people out there who would teach how to actually, you know, step into the high ticket closing space. But what they would do when it comes to placement is they would just teach you how to DM everybody and teach you how to cold outreach and Facebook groups and LinkedIn. And it's like, that is tough. That was almost impossible to do, especially if you're trying to build a career and you're looking to do this big, you can't do it. At least it's like very, very unlikely that you find a, a good offer going that route. So what we did is we saw the space. We had the problem of we had all these big companies reaching out to us, asking us for closers. Uh, but we can't just place closers with zero experience on big time offers. Otherwise our reputation goes down the drain. So kind of the natural move there was we started a education and a placement company called millionaire closers. So what we do is we basically train the hell out of sales reps of all experience levels. Uh, we get them ready for those types of offers. And then we actually place them with those types of offers so that they have the skill set, they have the placement to actually go ahead and build a long-term career working in the space. And that has probably been the coolest thing that I've done since I got into all of this, you know, like pounding leads and, you know, managing reps in-house and doing all of that. Like it's fun. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's great. But when you can connect with somebody on the other end of the world, who's in a tough spot and they're motivated and hungry, and you can put them on and kind of show them how to take advantage of a space and, you know, play a part in, like a massive change that they might make in their life. Like it is a different type of fulfillment, especially when you're doing it with so many people. Um, and I've kind of tapped back into that initial hustle that I had when I first got into this, you know, I'm, I'm back at the 12 hour days, the seven day weeks working with, you know, students, closers, literally all day, every day around the clock. And that's what I'm doing now. Um, it's been an awesome journey and I can't wait to make another video like this five years from now talking about, you know, what we've done. But anyway, stick around for the journey. If you're still watching this video, awesome. I'm going to be dropping a crazy amount of content. I think the space is way too massive and there is not enough information. There's not enough content out there. There's not enough stuff that you guys can leverage to actually step into the space and take advantage of this. So stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe. You know the rules. Um, looking forward to seeing you on the next one. Peace.